What's going on everybody? Welcome back to some more Miss 3. Sorry that this series has been taking such a long time in between videos. I know I say that every single time recently, but there's just been some things going on in my life and as well as just some like vacations and stuff like that. I went on a trip to Bonnaroo, the music festival, uh, last weekend, the week before, and that was unbelievably fun. I can't even describe to you how amazing it was. It was my first time going, so it was quite the experience. Uh, other than that, just had some things going on with work. It's just uh, also that I've kind of been struggling a little bit with motivation because I'm not quite as enthralled with this game as I have been other ones. So I kind of wanted to gauge, um, you know, I, I sort of just took a little while to try to decide what I wanted to do with my channel, like what is my aim? Um, and I still haven't quite answered that question to be honest because there's a lot of things that I want to do but I, I just simply can't because the time investment is too big or I think the reception wouldn't be that good. Um, it's kind of hard to say. There's just some things that I was trying to think about. Uh, obviously I still want to finish this game out and pro potentially finish the rest of the Myst series. Uh, hopefully the other games are more enticing than this one. I don't want to say that I dislike this one, but I don't like it nearly as much, and I know that feeling is kind of um, common in the, the, the Miss fan world, but uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this whole thing, to be honest. I've just uh, sort of been struggling with motivation, and that's why I haven't been putting out videos consistently, because in Riven, I just would sit at work and want to come home and play it. <laughs> so I would come home and post a video every single day, almost without fail, and then this has been kind of the complete contrast to that. So. I don't quite know why exactly that is. I think more so that the game didn't quite catch my attention as fast, but regardless, I mean, a couple things that I was thinking about wanting to do were starting, like, uh, I'm, I really like Formula One, and I was thinking about starting like a discussion sort of thing after every race, talking about the race and the events and what's coming up and possible changes in the world of Formula One. Uh, talking about drivers and teams and so forth and seeing what you guys think about that. I don't know if very many of you watch Formula One or are interested in it or even really racing at all because something I would like to get into is um, DTM, the Dutch Touring Car, whatever you call it. I don't know what the M stands for. Dutch Touring, I think it's like Touring Wagen Masters or something, however you say that in actual German, not English speak. Um, but yeah, that was something I thought about, but the thing is my, my channel is so focused on gaming that it would be hard. Uh, I could... I don't know, that's kind of what I'm, where I'm at, is, is I want to take my channel in a new, refreshing direction, and as well as finishing out this game, but it's just so hard because I don't really know where to go because of the reception. It could be hit or miss. But now that I've rambled for a while, let's go ahead and get back to the game. Uh, it's been so long, I'm going to sort of have to refresh myself here. I remember going down there, and I don't know exactly what I found. I, I think I came like right over here and just decided that I need to make my way over this way. Um, looks like a lot of these little circles. Oh, this is interesting, okay. So I wonder if that symbol is different than this one over here, which is the original one I came up on. Or if it's just a different color, maybe? It's just a different color, okay. So those almost look like the pieces of land that are around here. It's hard to tell because you can't get an aerial view of it, of course. The question I have, though, is what are these force fields for? I think it's that ball. I think somehow I need to... Like, this whole thing is a ball. Train. Like, track ball train track, if you get what I'm saying. I'm going to start it from over there on the other side of these wooden pillars and it's going to come around and do its thing. Come over here and then you must be able to control where exactly this ball goes unless it just so happens that they all loop around in such a way that the ball just does its own thing, continues on the path. But surely this force field will break that glass. I'm almost certain that's what it's intended to do. Alright, I'm trying to listen to these noises.
All right. So the pulsing changes with the type of switch you have it on. The visually and auditorily. It's hard to say exactly how you would go about adjusting it to... Or knowing what to adjust it to, I should say. I think maybe I got a little bit ahead of myself over here. Maybe I need to go... Oh, that's not the way I meant to go back through this way. Looks like you can take a step down here. Where does this lead me? Is this where I'd already been? Yeah, I've taken such a long gap I didn't even realize this is the way I came. Okay. These reflecting pools are kind of interesting. I guess they're like the stones that I'm standing on right now. They're just lower, so they've got water on them. And... There's that one symbol again. I remember looking at that when I came back through here. Or came through here the first time. I don't see really anything else, though. There's a train track right there, but that gate is closed. Oh! Some of the slightest mouse movements just send your cursor flying. And I'm not one to have my sensitivity up. Let's go back over here. I'm gonna go through that, like, rib cage thing again. It was up here and to the right. That one. There's that elevator. We'll skip by that for the moment. I really am just kind of jumping around because I don't know exactly where I'm going. Okay. I have a feeling that someone said I need to click around some more, but... Oh, well that's why, because you can climb up. Gotcha. That's good to know. That's an easy way to get back over there. If that's all that that area is, which I don't think is the case, I would be surprised. So let's go back over here. I think. Surely. I had some sort of progress over this way. I spent a long time over in this spot. And I'm surprised. I didn't get anywhere else. Nope. I'm pretty sure the gear needs to be up front, which I surmised the first time, or in the last video, I should say, if I'm not mistaken, but the question is why can't I get it to line up quite right? I guess the weight is off balance on that thing in the back. So it, it gets on there perfectly fine. It needs to stay, like, right there. Maybe if I take a weight off so that when the ball comes on it, it will weigh it down. Like, it kind of sticks up before the ball's weight comes on it. And then after that, it will do its thing. I think I did try the one stone, or whatever it is, one glass, one wood piece, and it didn't work. So this theory may not work. Nope. Actually doesn't look like it changed it at all. Let me put it back in the middle and see. That did not work. Ay, ay, ay. 
so I wonder... Oh, yeah, I, I completely forgot that you guys had said these are different. Let me look at them. I never actually analyzed it to try and figure out whether one is wood and one is... Oh, they make a noise. Okay, so that's definitely wood. What is this one? Metal. That's one. That one's wood as well. What if I get rid of the glass? Because I think I've had the glass on there every time. So, I guess I was going after that because the, the ball up top has that. And I sort of thought that that was like the clue or the answer. Let's try just half and half. Two wood, two metal. I don't know that that is right. It's probably not going to be right. Uh, let me put it back up front, because that's where I figured it was the first time. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to try each of the positions. Nope. <laughs> That's not it. So I think since that one didn't work, I bet the, the last one's not going to work either. Perhaps it will, I do not know. Big fat negative. See, so this is where I start to get frustrated because it's like, I don't understand what I'm trying to get towards. Like, what am I working towards? I can tell that the ball is going to end up going down that track, but like, what correlation does what I'm doing have to that object? Because it just doesn't seem like... Maybe I'm changing too much at once, and that's why I don't understand what each item is doing to affect the other items. I don't know, there's just something about this game that's not as, like, intuitive. It it just doesn't really, like, use your brain in, in the ways that Mist 1 and Riven did. I don't know. It's really strange. Hopefully I can find some more drive to play, because even right now, after not having played very long, I'm still not quite into it. I don't know. It's, it's really strange, and I hate that, because I know so many of you guys are enjoying watching me, but I just have to be honest. I don't want to leave you guys hanging and just be like, yeah, I'm busy. Because to a certain extent, that's true, but there are some days where I could, I you know, I have plenty of time to make a video, and I just, I don't know, don't quite have the drive for it. And I hate to, to play something because I'm forced to, or, or feel forced to, which I don't feel like because of you guys, but because of myself, like, wanting to just complete it. I don't know. Maybe I should just try another game for now and then possibly come back. So that's that's a question I have. Would you guys like to see another game? I would love to do something. I love having you guys watch the videos and stuff. Maybe there's something else that some of you have played in the past that you can't play again because it's just not the same. If you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know. I also have been playing the Battlefield Ooh, excuse me, Battlefield Hardline Beta, and that's been pretty fun. So that's something I could do. I know that's a complete contrast. FPS shooters in this game probably not not do not mesh very well in terms of fan base, but you never know. Worth a shot. Alright guys, well, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Talk to you soon.